Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an animal habitat for the desert. In each corner, I'm going to take two fingers and put a dot at the top, dot on the bottom, come over to the right hand side, two fingers, put a dot, and up at the top again, put another dot. Starting back at my first dot, I'm going to draw a circle using the dot as a starting point. So I draw a pretty good sized circle once, come down to the bottom dot, pretty good sized circle on the bottom, come over to the third dot, pretty good sized circle, and my last dot, pretty good sized circle. Connect. Now I'm going to draw, starting on the left, a wavy, wavy, wavy line down on the left and a wavy, wavy line down on the right. Come back to the left, draw a wavy, wavy line across and come down to the bottom and draw another wavy, wavy line. Connect. Starting at about here on the top, I'm going to go straight line out, straight line down, straight line out, straight line down, straight line out, and stop. I'm going to come down, these are called floating lines, we'll connect them in a minute. Come down to the left hand side again and draw a straight line across once. Come down again. Let's draw another straight line across. Connect. Now, right here on this space, let's put a dot at the top, and I'm going to draw a curve line down, up, down, in, down, connect on the left, come back up to the dot, draw a curve line down, out, in, down, connect. I'm going to draw little straight lines of dots going from top to bottom, keep going, all the way down. And every once in a while, I'm going to add straight line, 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 wherever. Now, I can finish this straight line across, jump over, straight line across, connect. I come over here on the left, and I'm just going to draw one curved line. And I'm going to do an overlap and draw another curve line, connect, and I'm going to put my little row of dots again across the top, and I'm going to add some little straight lines. Not too many, just a little couple so you know that this is a cacti. Okay, now I come up to this section and I'm going to draw a straight line across, and then I draw a curve line, little, little, Curve line big, connect, straight line across, curve line little, little, big curve line, connect, and one more if you have room, straight line, little curve line across off the page. Okay, now I come back down to this section and I'm just going to add one, two, three little straight lines, one, two, three little straight lines. Okay. Now, in each one of my circles, I'm going to add an animal. So I draw a curved line, straight line across, little curve line on the end, straight line, straight line, straight line up, straight line, straight line up, little triangle. That's my tortoise. Put a little curve lines and add that. I come over to the right and I draw a curve line, wavy, wavy, wavy line down and up. Come back up, curve line, wavy, wavy line up, connect. Just put a little curve line, straight line, one, two. That's my rattlesnake. Come down here 
You would find these animals in the forest. I draw a curve line, big curve line connect, big curve line connect. Come in, draw a little curve line, almost like a heart. Put one dot, two dots, and a triangle in between. I know these are little, but you kind of get the idea. That's going to be an owl. And now come over on the right. Curve line, straight line, little curve line, one, two straight lines, and then curve, curve, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, and that's the darkling beetle. Now at the top you can write desert, D-E-S-E-R-T, so you don't forget what you just drew, and you could write tortoise, T-O-R, T-O-I-S-E. This is a rattlesnake, wherever you can fit rattlesnake. This is a darkling, D-A-R-K-L-I-N-G, beetle, B-E-T-L-E. -E. And this is an elf owl down here. And these are Saguro. I'm probably saying that wrong. Cacti, more than one. S-A-G-U-A-R-O, cacti. C-A-C-T-I, more than one. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take light green and draw some stripes, straight lines on my cacti, and even on the little round ones. And then over the top, you can put green, a darker green. Okay? Then, using, this is kind of important, going from light to dark, I'm taking all my browns and all my beiges and all of my colors, and I'm coloring in, we're drawing straight lines of all those colors, because this is supposed to be like red rock, desert background, mountain flat tabletop mountains and they look striped kind of so I'm going to add as many of those browns, beiges, now I'm adding a little bit of orange for color and then over everything I'm going to color brown to kind of put it all together it's always beautiful blue sky so I'm going to do turquoise in the background of all of this and I'm going to come in and use a beigey brown color for that stripe and I'm going to use orange down here on this stripe. Now most of my critters are pretty much brown grays and what have you so I'm just going to make my tortoise brown, rattlesnake brown, outside of my owl brown, give him an orange beak and just to add color, I'm making my beetle purple. Okay, now around the edge, I'm just going to draw straight lines of color. So I'm going to do orange all the way around. And then in between the orange, I'm going to add yellow. Now, you can do whatever animals you want. You can also not even put in the animals. It's up to you. The main thing I'd like you all to know is a lot of these animals I've already drew, uh, drawn on my playlist called animals. Same thing with the um, some of the cacti. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my animal habitat all colored in for the desert. Like I mentioned before, please go through all of my playlists because I have already drawn a lot of the animals and the vegetation that you're going to find in these habitats by themselves. So check my playlist and okay, bye bye. <laughs>